Oh my hockey gods. We just witnessed an NHL playoff collapse of epic proportions. You may remember earlier this season, I made a video on the Predators losing this game. It was 2-1, 15 seconds remaining, and somehow the Predators found a way to end up losing this game in regulation, 3-2 to Dallas. Now, that was one of the craziest chokes I have ever seen. But today, on the biggest stage that is the NHL playoffs, the Predators may have just topped it. See, coming into this game, not only were the Vancouver Canucks already down, their starting goalie due to injury prior to puck drop it was announced that their backup Casey DeSmith who had only played two games himself was now also injured so Vancouver was down to their third string goalie Arthur Shilofs on the road in Nashville in one of the toughest barns in the league not ideal and the Predators were dominant they played what was likely their best game of this series and so with the Canucks down bad late in this game it looked all but over. Hughes thought it was over. The Preds bench thought it was over. And yet, it was not. But let's quickly see how we got here. It was actually the Canucks in the first. Off an offensive zone faceoff, Susie for Miller finds Besser and they would score. Not three minutes into the game, it was Besser on their first shot of the game to take the early lead. But it was quickly downhill from here. While the Predators would get called for interference, Forsberg knocking down the giraffe who is Myers, just four seconds seconds into the power play, the Canucks would get called for interference as Lindholm would go to the box, which gave us some 4 on 4 action. Where the Canucks honestly kind of dominated initially, but Hughes bobbling the puck would allow the Preds to gain possession. And D to D, Lozon fires it and they score. Jankowski in front gets credited for it as the Predators answering back immediately run over Pedersen in the process, bowling over him in the celly. But we now had a tied hockey game. Game. And with less than three to go, O'Reilly up for Carrier in alone, and he's shut down by Shilofs. It remained a tied hockey game going into the second, where a big save on one end leads to a two-on-one the other way. Nyquist keeps it and rips it home for his first of the playoffs, firing at glove side to beat Shilofs and take their first lead of the game just five minutes into the period. And while the Canucks did get a few good looks, just catching some iron here, they couldn't get one to go as both Soros and Shilofs on the other end stood tall. And so while that was it for the second in the goals department, right at the end, Puck wasn't even dropped and there was a scuffle. Sissons and Bluger would end up getting called for roughing, which meant we started the third, once again, four on four. And once again, the Predators press. Yossi shot, rebound, and they score. Yossi throwing the puck into the blue paint, catches Forsberg's skate, and I don't know, is this a kicking motion? Either way, no challenge, and just 12 seconds into the third, the Predators now had their third to make it a two-goal game. So you better believe the Predators faithful were celebrating. And the Preds outshot the Canucks all three periods, with several chances to extend the lead as Shilofs held on. So the Canucks were in a tough spot, struggling to get a puck on net, weren't looking particularly dangerous, and again had only 16 shots this game with under four to go. It was bleak. But with 3.20 to go now, Canucks pull their goalie. And it's Hughes walking the line to Miller in front for Lindholm. He finds Besser and they score. Brock Besser with his second of the game off some pretty passing as Soros nearly gets this one. But the Canucks were now within just one with plenty of time. Then with just two to go, they pull their goalie again. This time though, it's turned over. Sissons with it, and to seal the deal, he hits the post. Hughes all but knew this was the end, but going off the far post, the Canucks stay alive. The Predators bench even had the early celebration as, I mean, you gotta be kidding me. But a minute 20 to go now, Shiroff's out again, and as time was taken away, the Predators would clear it twice. In in the final seconds now, it's Miller's shot, rebound, Besser, side of the net, but he recovers and they score again. With eight seconds remaining, it's Brock Besser again with his third of the game to tie it up and force overtime. Unfreaking believable Now this starts with Hughes a little shimmy to lose Nyquist, which opened up space in the process and the rest was history, as the Canucks somehow complete the comeback to force overtime. 
while an absolutely stunned crowd watched on. And so, of course they would. It was just a minute in. Garland, behind the net, finds Lindholm in front, and they score. Blocker side on Soros. It's his second of the playoffs. As Elias Lindholm makes his presence felt, and the Canucks come all the way back to win this game. They're just the eighth team in NHL history to erase a two-goal deficit with under two minutes to go and win. An unbelievable meltdown from the Predators, who were seconds away from a 2-2 series, and instead, they now have to go back to Vancouver down 3-1. You gotta love the playoffs. But, yeah, that's about it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very much, and I'll see you in the next one.